network transmission quality is really important for the network communication so when traffic volume is greater than what can be transported across the network device we have to have kind of a mechanism to hold the traffic for a certain time and release it section by section or portion by portion to the interface based on the memory and hardware resources which are available in that particular device when it comes to this prioritization queuing is really important in a default network environment in network devices or intermediate devices we have just only one queue all the traffic will come to that particular queue before it get processed if we get more queues in that particular interface prioritization is really effective so that is one introduction that the qos techniques are giving to improve the prioritization the network transmission quality always produce matters because of bandwidth congestions delays and jitters so network bandwidth is measured in the number of bits that can be transmitted in a single second or we call bits per second network congestion causes delays an interface experiences congestion when it is presented with more traffic than it can be handled so network congestion points are ideal candidate for quality of service mechanisms the typical congestion points are aggregation points where you are aggregating the traffic to a single link to deliver to the next network device or maybe the default gateway the next congestion point is a point where you get lower bandwidth comparing to the another interface bandwidth maybe the uplink bandwidth 1 gbps uplink with 100 mbps downlink so speed mismatch in two interfaces are also creating congestion points and then low bandwidth isp connections comparing to the local area network a delay zone latency refers to the time it takes for the packet to travel from source to destination in every network communication we have delays if it is fixed delay in all bits you will be having the same delay once the communication started it will start with a fixed delay and that delay will continue until you send the last bit it is easily addressable delay and sometimes we don't want to bother about that fixed delays if we have variable delays variable delays take an unspecified amount of time and is affected by factors such as how much traffic is being processed jitter is the variation of delay of receiving packets jitter comes with the variable delay communications because of these delays or communication barriers you will lose the network communication or some amount of packets can be lost during the communication without quality of service mechanisms time sensitive packets such as real time video and voice are dropped with the same frequency as data that is not time sensitive so when a router receives a real time protocol rtp digital audio stream for voip we call voice over ip the play out delay buffer buffers these packets and then plays them out in a steady stream if the jitter is so large that it causes packets to be received out of the range of the play out buffer the out of range packets are discarded and dropouts are heard in the audio therefore it is important to prioritize network traffic with the priority you will be getting 
the improvement of the quality in network transmission.